Okay. So what I want to do is I want to go through this dialogue, okay? So in English, you would say, hello, what's your name? And so in ASL, you're going to say, hello, your name, what? Okay? So, hello. So your, who are you going to be making it towards? You're going to do it towards whoever you're talking to. Your name, what? Okay? So, hello. Your name, what? Okay. Now, one of the very important things about sign language is that whenever you sign to someone, then you look at them directly. If you're staring <laughs> off over here, then you don't really want to have a conversation, or it's part of the structure and that kind of thing. But whenever you sign, then you you're not going to go, hello, your. Okay, you're going to be looking at that person. You're going to go, hello, your name, what? So the entire time, then you remain engaged looking at that person. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the way it's going to work. So in ASL, then the way that they do it, yeah, it's different. It's different than just adding signs to what you're doing. So it's a different structure. So in this one, then it's going to be the topic and then the comment. So you talk about what the topic is first, and then you say something. So it would be your name is what my topic is, and then the comment that I'm going to make is what is it? What is it? What? Okay. So it would be hello. Your name, what? Okay. Are there any questions? Yes. Does ASL mean American Sign Language? Yes. Yeah. So it's referred to as both ASL or American Sign Language. Um, sometimes it kind of just gets shortened to sign language or signing or sign. But yeah. Okay. So we did hello. What's your name? Do that one more time. Hello. So your name what? Your name what? Okay. So your answer is going to be, my name is, and then you will finger spell your name, okay? So you'll go, my name. Okay, so we're not going to say is, we would just go, um, sorry, cut it off. Okay, so we're gonna do my name, and then you'll go to here, and you will finger spell your name, okay? I have way more practice. Go for it. Okay, did we all spell our name? Got it. So it's going to be my name is this. Okay. Okay, so then the person who's responding will go, oh, I saw this. And you'll spell it back to them. Okay. And then you will say, nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Okay. So let's try that one more time. Okay. So hello, your name what? Hello, your name what? Okay, then the other person will say, my name is, okay? And then you will go, oh. Yeah, you just do your own name. Yeah, just whatever name that you're doing. I just pick mine because it's mine. <laughs> it works. Okay, so then you would say, okay, so you spell that person's name back to them, and then you would say, nice to meet you. Okay? So you make sure your people are standing up and you go like this, so meet. Okay? So I now want you to find an, yeah. You could do it that way too. Yeah, that's a good question. So you could go, nice to meet you. Okay, but you could also do, oh, just nice to meet you. And it's just kind of implied the you. But yeah, you can sign the you. So you could go, nice to meet you. Or you could just go, nice to meet you. Okay, good question. Are there any other questions before we break up? Okay, I want you guys to find a partner. But wait, before we do this, one thing that I'm going to institute is the no talking rule for this, okay? If you guys need to ask each other what the sign is, then that's okay if you need my help, I'm right here. But I want you guys to try it without talking through the entire thing because it's really hard not to do it. But I want you to try, okay? So you're going to go through and I will just keep going through and announcing what the dialogue is, okay? So find a partner. And if you can do two, then it'd be better. Yeah. Okay. So. When I'm having a conversation, 
I would actually be turned toward the person this way. But since that would kind of obscure your view, I'm going to turn this way, okay? So when I talk to him, then I'm going to say, hello, your name what? Okay, so in English that would be, hello, what's your name, okay? So I'm going to go, hello, your name what? And so he's going to respond, my name, and then he's going to finger spell his name, okay? So turn this a little bit, okay? So hello, or, sorry, my name, And I would go, oh, okay, that I did catch his name. I didn't just go, it was something, and I think I might have seen a D. I'm acknowledging that I did understand his name, or at this point, then I could go, what was it? I kind of missed it, okay? So then I would go, oh, David, okay? And I would say, nice to meet you. And then you could ask me, your name what? Your. Sorry. Your name what? Okay, and then I would say, my name, okay, and then he would go, oh, and then finger spell my name back, and then he would say, nice, thank you. Hmm? Okay, so do you guys see how that works? Okay, so with your partner, I want you to turn right now, we're going to try it together, okay? So the first person, yeah. Uh -oh. Um, they can. That's an option. It's kind of like, if you think about a conversation, there's not an exact rule book of a structure on how you have to introduce yourself. But yeah, so you could. So when I said, oh, it's nice to meet you, then he could go, oh, it's nice to meet you too. Okay? So you can personalize it that way. You could carry on and have an entire conversation. Yeah, you could do anything like that. Like you said, okay, another response that's common is same as me, or like, oh, I feel the same way. You're doing the same. Okay, ah, oh, nice to meet you. Oh, I feel the same. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it together. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Um, if the person went too fast in spelling your name, how can you say? Okay, so when he, he spells his name, he goes, oh, my name is David. And I was like, can you do it again? Again. This is the word again. Okay? Again. The other sign that's really popular is slow. Okay? So he goes, oh, my name is David. And I'm like, can you spell that again? Then he would go, oh, David. You know, he did it slow, then he would go, David. Okay? And then I would go, oh, okay. So it's David, and I would kind of look at him like, am I doing this right? Am I spelling right? David? And he'd go, yeah. Okay? So let's try this together. Are you with your partner? We you said? Okay, so we're going to start. Now let's try this. Okay, so you're going to say the first person, decide who it's going to be. You can look at each other and decide eye contact. Okay, so you're going to do, hello, your name what? Okay, person number two is going to respond, my name, and then spell your name. person is going to respond with their name and nice to meet you. Okay. Okay, now the sec the next person is going to say your name what? Person will respond, my name, and then spell your name. <laughs> okay, and the other person can respond, nice to meet you. Okay, how did that work? You can talk now. never even met and silently you're going to tell them your name 
Yeah, you're going to have to go very, very slow when you spell it. Because the other person has to be able to spell it back. And I really, really would prefer not to go. <laughs> okay, if you can, do it without doing that. That would be great. If you can't, I will look the other way until next week. Yeah? How would you ask for the last name? So your last name? So you would say last. So with both of your pinkies, you would say last name. So um, one book that I was reading said that actually in all conversations, whether formal or more casual, then you tend to give your first name and your last name. Um, I don't think that a lot of people do that, but you always have the option of doing that, of signing your first name, and then kind of like how you did when there was a double letter, just moving over just the slightest bit and starting it that way. So if I was going to spell my name, then I would say my name, and I would go here. C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y. Pause for just a second, and we move over just, would move over just enough to be able to differentiate between the two words. Yeah? Can you motion last again? Last. Like this. Can you touch the pinkies? <laughs> My pinkies touch right about here, and they go off the point. This, one mm -hmm. more, this one stays more the same, and it kind of just grazes the end of that. Yeah, this one more. Yeah, this one just see. Let's see if it's last. Okay. So last. So sometimes I miss it 